Well, either you're closing your eyes to a situation you do not wish to acknowledge, or you are not aware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. Well, you got trouble, my friends. Right here, I say trouble right here in River City. Why, sure, I'm a pool player. Certainly mighty proud to say I'm always mighty proud to say it. I consider that the hours I spend with a cue in my hand are golden. Help me cultivate horse sense and a cool head and a keen eye. Did you ever take a try to give an ironclad leave to yourself from a three-rail billiard shot? But just as I say, it takes judgment, brains, and maturity to score at a balk line game. I say that any boob can take and shove a ball in a pocket. And I call that sloth. The first big step on the road to the depths of degradation. I say first, medicinal wine from a teaspoon, then beer from a bottle. And the next thing you know, your son is playing for money in a pinchback suit. And listening to some big out of town Jasper, you're gonna tell about horse race gambling. Not a wholesome trotting race, no, but a race where they set down right on the horse. Like to see some stuck-up jockey boy setting on Dan Patch? Make your blood boil, what I should say. Now, friends, let me tell you what I mean. You got one, two, three, four, five, six pockets in a table. Pockets that mark the difference between a gentleman and a bum with a capital B, and that rhymes with P, and that stands for pool. And all week long, your River City youth will be frittering away. I say your young men will be frittering. Fritter in a way their new time, supper time, short time too. Get the ball in the pocket. Never mind getting dandelions folded, the screen door patched to the beefsteak pounded. Never mind pumping any water till your parents are caught with a cistern empty on a Saturday night, and that's trouble. Oh, you got lots and lots of trouble. I'm thinking of the kids in the knickerbocker, sure tail young ones, peeking in the pool hall, the window after school, and you got trouble, folks. Right here in River City. Trouble with a capital T, and that rhymes with P, and that stands for pool. Now I know all you folks are the right kind of parents. I'm gonna be perfectly frank. Would you like to know what kind of conversation goes on while they're loafing around that hall? They'll be trying out Fido, trying out Cubans, trying out tailor-maids like cigarette fiends, and bragging all about how they're going to cover up a telltale breath with sense. And one fine night, they leave the pool hall, heading for the dance of the army, libertine men and scarlet women, and ragtime, shameless music that'll grab your son, your daughter, with the arms of a jungle animal instinct, mass stereo. The idle brain is the devil's playground trouble. Right here in River City. With a capital T and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. We've surely got trouble. Right here in River City. Gotta figure out a way to keep the young ones moral after school. Mothers of River City, heed that warning before it's too late. Watch for the telltale signs of corruption. The minute your son leaves the house, does he rebuckle his knickerbockers? Below the knee. Is there a nicotine stain on his index finger? A dime novel hidden in the corn crib? Is he starting to memorize jokes from Captain Billy's whiz bang? Are certain words creeping into his conversation? Words like, like swell. Trouble. Ah, and so's your old man. Trouble. Well, if so, my friends, you got trouble. Oh, got trouble. Right here in Riverson. Right Capital T and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. We surely got trouble. Right here in River City. Remember the main Plymouth Rock and the Golden Rule. Oh, we got trouble. We're in terrible, terrible trouble. That game with the 15 number of balls at the devil's tool. Oh, yes, we got trouble, trouble, trouble. With a T, got a rhyme with P. 